So top and heads engines love being shiny and clean. It makes them feel cheerful as they puff across the island of Sodor. Percy often has the dirtiest work to do, but he likes to be clean as well as any other engine. Washdowns are important to Percy. But Sir Topham had had bad news. Due to a water shortage, he said, no engine shall have more than one washdown a day. Usefulness before cleanliness, he added, and left. Percy was upset. I get dirty, he complained. I need washdowns. Gordon only does it to feel important. I am important, Gordon said. I'm an express engine. You're a pouty puffer, Percy, teased James. No, I'm not, wished Percy. He chuffed away. Percy was loading freight cars at the docks. He was trying extra hard to stay clean. But the troublesome trucks were being naughty. As Percy pushed them under the coal chute, they sang out. On, 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 they cried. Percy found himself under the chute, and coal dust flew everywhere. Oh, no, <coughs> coughed Percy. I'm filthy. Percy felt awful, but he knew he had to carry on. On the way to Callan Station, the troublesome trucks teased Percy even more. Peggy clapped. Don't look back. Dirty Percy's on our track. Be quiet, Percy snapped. When Percy arrived at Catholic Station, he was very upset. From now on, I am only doing work where I won't get dirty. Harold the helicopter was at Catholic Station picking up medical supplies. Hello, Percy, he called. Cleanliness reminded his driver. I want to be useful where I can't get dirty, Percy huffed. There's a load of sugar going to the chocolate factory, his driver said. We could take the sugar cars. Sugar, said Percy. That's nice and clean. Percy was pleased. Percy didn't know that earlier a leaky freight car had spilled oil on the track. the chocolate factory. His driver applied the brakes. But Percy's wheels just skidded on the oily rails. Oh no, booed Percy. Yuck, he groaned. I've never been this dirty. He was covered from funnel to firebox in sticky, gooey chocolate. At the sheds, everyone thought it was very funny. No. You look good enough to eat, Thomas Hooded. Bon Bon Percy, teased James. Chalk ice on wheels, chipped in Henry. Disgraceful, said Gordon pompously. Ahem, said a stern sounding voice. It was Sir Topham Hatt. You have had a trying day, Percy, he said. Yes, sir, replied Percy from beneath the chopper. But you showed us all that usefulness does come before cleanliness. So, he added, you shall have your wash now. Oh, sir, and a new coat of paint. Percy just beamed. 